Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? Yep, I am back with another kitchen table haul. I just wanted to get this out to you as soon as possible, so I'm just doing it this way for today. I will be back in front of the camera soon, I promise. This is kind of a miscellaneous haul here. I'm gonna start with just kind of the boring things. Picked up a pack of these, the Ultra Shine, the dishwasher tabs. You get 10 in here. I think this is still a pretty good deal and we've used these before and they work just fine for us. So I picked one up, needed it, grabbed it, picked up some batteries. Actually, hubby picked up, I'm gonna show you here in a second. I should have set the, this by them, but I didn't. We needed some batteries, just some AA batteries. We got these from E-Circuit, the super heavy duty, and it says for low drain. We also picked up these Panasonic I don't know on the Panasonic, does it say anywhere where it says low drain or high drain? I don't see anywhere on here that says that. I'm not sure what it says down there. So I'm not sure if these are for high drain or low drain. If you see it anywhere on there, please comment down below, but I do not. So we just grabbed some batteries and that. And did you guys see these? I thought these were so cool. The manager pointed them out to me. These are squirrel feeders. It has the little bracket on the end here, and it even comes with the screws to screw it into your, your post or your tree. And here on the top, it has, must be the little thing that you would put the ear of corn on. Those are the screws, and they're kind of attached to whatever the, the little post is here to put your ear of corn on to feed the squirrels. How cool is that? And it is by the Wild Bird Design by Nature Company out of Georgia, but they're made in China. But I thought that was really cool. So we picked up two. I don't know if the two oldest granddaughters would like something like this. If they can get, they're always at like the farm centers and things. Maybe they can get ears of corn and feed the squirrels, or maybe we could figure out something else to put on here to feed the squirrels. But I thought those were adorable and these are heavy. These are heavy duty metal. And I didn't even see them. They were near the front door when we walked in. I walked right by them and didn't even see them, but the manager pointed them out. So I grabbed two. Some food items here. Hubby really likes this guacamole style dip. It's an 8.5 ounce can by Home Style Select. He enjoys this. He likes putting it he makes wraps a lot and he uses this sort of like mayo and he enjoys it. So he picks it up when he sees it. Picked up a few canned goods. These are the Margaret Homes. I've talked about these many times in the past. These are the seasoned green lima beans and it is a 15 ounce can. These are so, so good. And I like having them on the shelf. They're delicious, quick, easy. They are seasoned perfectly. So I picked up two cans of those. And if you would want to know, the best by date is best if used by January of 25. Nice. I saw this this time. This is the hot chili sauce, Leaping Leopard, the Sriracha sauce. I actually, I had picked up those keto books and I believe I saw a recipe in there to use sriracha sauce. So I grabbed one and it's nine ounce of the Leaping Leopard. It says shake well. If you guys have tried this, let me know what you think. So that's what I'm gonna use it for. Hubby enjoys these every now and again. These are the Hormel tamales and this is chicken and chili sauce, no artificial ingredients, 99% fat free and it is a 15 ounce can. He likes these every once in a while. When I don't really feel like cooking supper, we'll go ahead and take these out of the can and we'll zhuzh them up a little bit, bake them in the oven until they're done. And really they are done, I believe, right out of the can, but just warm them up, melt some cheese, quick, easy meal. So we picked up two, they're both the same, the chicken and chili. Picked up, hubby did, the McTrader, the Tender Green Asparagus Spears. It's a 10.5 ounce jar. Hubby really enjoys these, me not so much. I like asparagus when it's fresh and it's still crispy, just with melted butter and salt and pepper. He likes these out of the jar like this. To me, they're too mushy, but he likes them. So 
and it says fresh packed, gluten-free. So he picked up two, two jars of those. And this is the best by date of October of 25 as well. The tamales best by date are December of 24. And then we got two of the Pampa mushroom stems and pieces, 10 ounce jars. And what is the best by date on these? Um, I'm not sure what the best by date is on these. There it is right there. Best before, it looks like November of 25. So we picked up two of those. I really enjoy these a lot. These these are just nice to have on the shelf. Nice big can of that can of them. And it is a 5.3 dry weight. So that is how many ounces you get of the actual mushrooms without the liquid. And then we saw these. I used to buy this brand a lot and make my own fried chicken. It is amazing. This is House Autry brand and it's the Southern style chicken fry mix. You just Get your chicken, clean it however you like to clean your chicken. And you know, thawed, of course. You dredge it in this chicken fry and deep fry it or oven fry it. It has the directions on the back. This is for deep frying or pan frying. I have also baked it in the oven on a cooling, like a, a um, cookie sheet foil lined with a, like a cooling rack and put the chicken on and it worked just as well. I have never seen the House Autry brand in Dollar Tree. It has to be more than $1.25. It is delicious. You can probably hear the clock dinging in the background. Sorry, guys. So we picked up four boxes of this to have on the shelf. It is so good. And you can also use it with whatever you would want. You could put it over with steak. You could do pork chops or ribs or whatever. Just because it says chicken doesn't mean you have to use it with chicken. And let me see what the expiration date is here. Best by January of 24. That's glue on the bottom of the box, guys. It's nothing gross. So nice long shelf life for that. So we grabbed four of them. When the grand ladies were here, they wiped us out of the legs, Lay's stacks. The sour cream and onion are their favorite. So we picked up, picked up two to replenish our our snack shelf down in the basement. So we grabbed two of those. They always have Lay's in the store and, but that was it, we were we were emptied out of those. A few little um things for myself here. I picked up another one of these, the eyebrow razors. You get three pieces in here by Sassy and Chic. I really like these a lot. I grab them when I see them. They are great for like trimming up your eyebrows if you know how to do it carefully without taking your whole eyebrow off. If you have little peach fuzz on the sides of your face, they work great. So I needed some, so I grabbed them. Then they had a whole bin, big end cap that the, um, the associate was putting up while I was there, all different pretty spring color things. So I grabbed a couple and it says new by LA Colors. And this is the cream gel blush. I've never seen the blush before. I don't know if they come out with this every year. If they do, I have never seen it in the LA colors. So I grabbed one in the color. My hands are so shaky today, guys, I apologize. Let me see if I can do this without shaking. This is adorned, grabbed one in that color. And it looks more of like a rosy type color. And then I picked up one in admirable. And it is more of a pinky, mauve pink color. So I picked up one of each of those and they did have other colors as well. I know they had one more of an, like a peach color. I can't remember the other one, but I just stuck with those two because I knew they would kind of work well with my skin tone. So if you guys have tried these, let me know. I've never seen a cream gel blush in there before. And on that same display, they had all kinds of lip glosses, lip balms, they also had different eyeliners, mascaras, all in these really pretty spring color packaging. And this is called a jelly, I'm sorry guys, a jelly balm. Never saw this in there before. Also by LA Colors and it's in the watermelon flavor. They had so many different flavors to choose from. They had coconut, grape, strawberry, I can't even remember the other, the other flavors. 
I'm not sure if they're flavored though, but I'm assuming they are since it does say watermelon. But I have never seen a jelly balm in there. So we're gonna try that one day. Showed you that. Hubby needed some little pebbles. This is a 1.1 pound bag of just the little white pebbles. He was gonna use these with his train, his train set. So who knows what he's gonna do with that. Probably make little roads or something, I don't know. And I said about getting the batteries. That was because he picked up two of these. They are just the little portable fans. What do they call it? A mini fan. And it takes two AA batteries. These work so well. If you guys haven't tried these, they are out right now. And I actually picked up some in a previous, previous shopping trip. And I don't believe I showed them in a haul. But he wanted these. He has a steam room. And he wanted to have these in the steam room just to kind of help circulate the air. So, yeah, he picked up two of these and he already swiped one, but he saved me this one to show you. So, grab two of those. That's what the battery is for. In the craft section this time, they have needles by Crafter Square. You get 70 different needles in here. I think that is awesome. I am constantly looking for needles. So I went ahead and grabbed one of that, and they also had this style. And if you can see, they these ones are the self-threading needles. I think that is amazing for $1.25. All of these different lengths and thicknesses, and they also had all these sort of specialty needles down here, and it tells you what they're all for, a curved mattress needle, carpet needle, sail needle, upholstery needle, upholstery needle, packing needle, you see that one has a curved tip, a glove needle, and a curved mattress needle. I thought that was pretty cool. So picked up one of each of those, yay. Hubby picked up some Matchbox cars. Matchbox cars now, I believe, are a better deal at Walmart, but he liked these. So he went ahead and grabbed them, and he said these are for him. These are not going to Toys for Tots, but this one is the 2018 Dodge Durango. He liked that. This one is the 1949 Curtis Sports Car. I never even heard of that one before, but that's cool. This one is the 1994 Mitsubishi 3000 GT. And this one is the Ford Police Interceptor. So he grabbed these and I'm sure they're probably for the train set. And then the manager brought out boxes from the back and had to show me these. What am I gonna do with these? I could not tell you. But they're by Special Moments Memories Collection and they are called Wall Art. And they are these metal flowers. They had several different colors, different styles of petals. So, so pretty. This one is like a peach trimmed along the edges in gold. And on the back, it does have the little hanger. I don't know if you can see that very well. Let me turn this around. It does have the little hanger, so you could hang them on the wall. If you had a fence, a wooden fence, wouldn't it be pretty to have a nice little display of these flowers all over the fence? And this one too has the hanger. That one's peach. This one is like an off-white, also trimmed in gold along the edges. And then this one is a really pretty blue, trimmed in gold. And they all have the hanger. And they had, like I said, different styles. Some had pointy, pointy tips. Very, very pretty. And I'd say these, they're they're bigger than my hand. Bigger than like the palm of my hand and fingers, so. That's the size. I don't think there was a size on these. There is not. Then we picked up a few more things for Toys for Tots. We picked up two more of the, um, their knockoff Barbies. And it just says Fashion Doll. And she has all of her little, little things in there. A necklace and a hairbrush and a little purse and shoes. And she is dressed in the, the purple top with a pink print skirt. We thought she was really pretty. And then this one is a blue, light blue top and a fancy little blue skirt. 
and this one has these same ex accessories in it. It has the necklace and the hairbrush and the purse and shoes. So we picked up those and then we picked up some of the clothes to go with it. And this I did not pick up before for the kids to have here. So we grabbed it this time. And this is like the military uniform. It's the camo. There's little sunglasses in there and they look like little sneakers. And I did grab two of these because I knew I didn't have one of these for here. So one of these will go with Toys for Tots and one will stay here. This one I know I picked up already for here, but so it'll go for Toys for Tots. And this is the like veterinarian outfit and it comes with a little puppy and sneakers again, little outfit. And then this one kind of looks like a jockey, like a horse jockey. I thought that was really cool. I, I think that's what that would be. And it never says on it, I don't think, what they actually are. So yeah, it has the helmet, the sh like strap on helmet, little sneakers again. And then this one, I do not think I picked up. So I'm gonna have to look in mine and see if I have it or not. But this is like the doctor uniform. It has the stethoscope and the little sneakers. Kind of looks like that stitching is pretty wonky there, but that's okay. But I have a feeling this one will stay here anyway, and I can just hand stitch that if it's not stitched in well. So yeah, some of this stuff is going for Toys for Tots and some of it is staying here. I think that's awesome. All right, guys, that is it for this Dollar Tree haul. It's actually bigger than what I thought it was, but I knew I couldn't separate this into two hauls. So I figured just quickly throw it on the table and give you guys a quick look at what we picked up today. So anyway, if you guys like this type of video, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.